All right, guys, once again, we are back. Or I guess this week I should say I am back. Um, my usual co-host was been getting a little busy, so we just decided that I would take over this week's analysis and do the episodes for myself. So first of all, let's get into just my initial impressions of the episode. Overall, I think as with the rest of the episodes this season, all they've all been really good episodes. But I think this episode had a lot of really cool moments and a lot of things that a lot of things that it is building towards uh, that we'll see hopefully in the next episode. And so with that being said, I'm just going to get into the analysis now. So I think the first major thing that we find on this episode, and I think it's something that we've been kind of getting hints towards throughout the past few episodes, is that Zeke's spinal fluid, when consumed by humans, gives him the ability to turn those, or Eldians, I should say, turn those Eldians into Titans just by screaming or so something that we've been talking about in the past few episodes is that the drinks that have been shown uh, or emphasis, emphasized on are probably spiked with something. And it seems pretty clear now that what's in those drinks is Zeke's spinal fluid and that that's going to cause some a lot of damage, I should say. Another little minor detail here is that when Levi is told that, or presumably when he's told that uh, Aaron has escaped, it zooms straight into Zeke's face. And before this, they shared an exchange where they're talking about how they don't have much time and they want to like unleash the rumbling now. And Zeke specifically just says like they don't have much time left. And I think what Zeke was referring to was the fact that pretty soon Aaron's going to break free and maybe chaos is going to ensue with whatever's going on with spinal fluid. But Zeke was just talking about how if they don't act fast, then the world is going to come and attack them all. And on that same train of thought with the whole wines uh, having Zeke's spinal fluid uh, spiked in it, we have this scene here where we have the scouts coming into Nicola's restaurant and we see Jean grab the wine that's in question and then Nicolo just loses it on him and starts yelling at him, comes up, starts coming up with any excuse for why, uh, why they shouldn't be drinking it. And I think that's pretty clear that there is something going on with that bottle. The next major thing to happen in this episode is that uh, Gabby and Falco go to, to talk to Niccolo because he's a Marley and hoping that they'll be able to help him. Uh, and they tell him that the warriors are going to come and protect them and bring them back to Marley. But what Gabby didn't know was that he was a, a dating Sasha and he just loses it on him and smashes a bottle over Falco's head. And I think this scene here where Gabby's at the mercy of these Eldians, these devils that she's been raised to hate these whole t- this whole time, is kind of building to the fact that maybe G- Gabby will have some redemption. I think it was pretty unclear as to how Gabby could escape kind of the brainwashing she's been under her whole life. But I think that now we're starting to see uh, a possible path out for her because we have this scene here. And then even later on, she's talked to Mikasa when Mikasa saves her from uh, Kaya almost killing her and she basically tells uh, Mikasa like why did you save me so I think that'll be something to look out for and so as I was talking about earlier we see that basically Nicola just straight up says I think that Zeke's spinal fluid is in the drinks uh, which I think is going to be the case and they talk a little bit later on about how in the past Yelena has used Zeke's spinal fluid to basically take over nations overnight and so it seems like there's going to be some kind of drastic shift in power in uh, parodies from uh, the government in control now to maybe Yelena and all of her people and this probably has something to do with Aaron Zeke's plan. Another minor detail that was kind of stuck in my mind through while I was watching this was this scene here with Levi just kind of thinking back. He has a specific line where he says uh, there's another shithead that we should have eaten, which I think could just be a passing remark um, right there. That's the line, but I'm not sure as to what he means. Is he just referring to the fact that Eldians can turn into Titans and that they eat humans? Is he referring to to maybe the fact that a Titan should have eaten Aaron and all this mess would have been solved. Uh, I'm not too sure, but you guys can leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I think some common trend in Attack on Titan is to just kind of throw in a really surprising scenes super nonchalantly. We had this with Rhino back in season two, the whole reveal. And then we have this scene here where Aaron just walks in, like everything's normal. And you can see on their faces, they're completely shocked. 
Um, I think this is a really cool scene. The way that they did that was really, it holds true to what they've done in the past. But I think this scene here raises a question for me where it's clear that Flock knows that Yelena has been uh, giving Zeke spinal fluid to the higher ranking soldiers. But he does like a little shush to her. And I'm not sure if he's just being like coy and trying to like mess with her head or if Aaron doesn't know. I mean, I'd like to hold out hope and hope that Aaron doesn't know that all this is happening, but it seems pretty likely that Aaron's in on this and that what we see in the next episode with him talking to uh, to Mikasa and Armin isn't going to be a good heart-to-heart where they kind of work out what they're going to do, but it's going to be more of a, I'm changed, I'm going to get peace, and I'm going to do it my way. And so I think next episode is going to be a reality check for all the people, including me, who've kind of held out hope for Aaron and hope that what he's doing isn't evil. Um, I think I think next episode is going to be a difficult one, but I think it'll be a really eventful episode and I think it'll be a really good episode. So I guess we'll just see what happens with that. But um, with that being said, not too much to comment on in this episode and it's difficult because I can't really have much back and forth. So I guess we'll just see what happens next episode. Like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys then with hopefully the two of us.